Hey kids, welcome to a lesson two, multiple screen apps. Number three, exploring console.log. In the last level, we saw a new command, console log. You should have noticed that it prints out text in the debug console below the code workspace. The debug console area is an important tool for programmers. You've seen it display error messages, but you can also have your program display other messages there. You can find console.log in the variable code toolbox and its commands you use to send messages to the console. It is just about the simplest thing you can do to make your code generate output. We have something to try today. You try this. Add a console.log statement to say your name. Drag out a console.log statement into the workspace and add it below the two statements there. Following the lead of the first two lines, update the code so it says your name. The output should look something like this. Scroll down here, should say hello there, exclamation point, my name is Sally Student. Well, hello there, Sally Student. Hmm, I wonder how I'm gonna make this happen. So down here it said in the variables tab, there's a console.log, there it is. Uh, I have just like everything else, I can see examples and it'll take me to the library and I can find out all all the information I would like to know about this. This brings up the library. This is a great resource. If you don't know exactly what the command is doing, this will tell you everything you need to know. I'm gonna drag my console.log here. It says Sally student there. That is not my name. I am Mr. Rhodes, exclamation point. I'll put it there. I think that's all that I needed to do. If I hit run here, I should generate something that looks like this in my debug console right here. Let's go ahead and hit run. Hello there, my name is Mr. Rhodes. Well, hello there, Mr. Rhodes. That was a pretty straightforward lesson. I think we did everything that code.org wanted us to. Let's see if it agrees. Hey, good job kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.